everybody thank you for coming back to my channel and i hope you guys have had a great week so far what i'm going to be doing is showing an update of my sinking funds and where i have gotten so far in this past month i just do this to keep track of what i've done and the progress i had and what i found out is that once i see continual process over you know the course of months it motivates me more to to do more saving and i hope that's the same for you in this video i won't be doing this is my old sinking funds update sheet i did um a month ago but for this month i'm not going to be doing my debt simply because there are some things i have to work out with with my car loan and another credit card and i don't want to give inaccurate information if that makes sense so like right here in my ending balance i put forty thousand. i didn't really know what to put because i didn't know the cost of my loan like completely like to the dollar and i still don't know because i still have to talk to the credit union so just to prevent all of that i'm just going to omit this and once i get it all together i'll go ahead and start reporting on it again that's all i have on that so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and i'm only going to be doing my sinking funds and that's it i don't think i have enough to do like a major exchange like i did the last time but maybe a couple bills i can i can switch out but it's not going to be a lot like it was last time so let's go ahead and get started Alrighty, let's go ahead and get counting. And I'm going to pull out the money I have in my debt snowball as well. And I'll just, I'll put it up towards the top and see if I need to do any, um, see if I need to do any swapping. I, I really won't have to, I don't think, um, just based off what I have in here. So what I have in here is, oh yeah, I'm not gonna be doing any trading out. Probably like a little bit of something, but I have $12, so it's not gonna be <laughs> anything serious. So I'm just gonna put that right there. So let's go ahead and get counting. For my savings, what I have in here now is 100, 200, 220, 230. Emergency, what I have is 100, 200, 300, 310, 320, 330. So in car maintenance, what I have is 100, 150, 200, 210, 220, 225. In medical, what I have is 20, 40, 45, 50. What I'll do, I'll switch out these fives for this 10 I have right here. All right, so 50 in medical. In beauty, what I have is 10, 15, 20. Jukebox, what I have is 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So 48 for jukebox. Texas still has $1. Um, I'm just show it, flash it right here. One dollar. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do the difference right here. And this um, goes hand in hand with my budget. I stayed true to what I wanted to put for my budget. Um, except for jukebox, I have to use some money for him. So we're down two on that and then zero on this. So the starting balance of what I had, I'm just go back to my previous one that I did. 
So I had 826 saved. Let me count what I have now. Alrighty, so what I have now is $904, and I'm very close to getting to 1000 saved, and I'm proud of myself for that. And you guys, I know a lot of people for their seeking funds update, you know, it's very grand, and they're able to save a lot. And not saying that it's not realistic, because it is, because that's the money that they have coming in, and that's the budget that they're working with, but... For my lower income people or people who have to stretch their budget very thin, this is something that you would kind of see. So I feel like this would be like a more realistic thing of what you'll see in your budget if you are lower income. Um, it's a great inspiration and a great thing to look at and to enjoy seeing other people and their sinking funds update and they've saved thousands of dollars. It's an amazing thing to see and it's super, super motivating. But when you do your own sinking funds update, don't be discouraged if you feel like you're not saving a lot because at the end of the day, you're still saving um, and it, it builds over time. Um, what I also want to say is that I am going to be adding some more sinking funds and I'm going to be doing some saving challenges at the start of the new year. Um, I want to really challenge myself to save and I definitely need some more sinking funds to put money into. I started off very simple this year so I can see where I'm spending my money and where I would like to spend my money in the future. And I kind of recommend that for everybody. So if you if you don't know where you want your money to go start very basic start with the things that you need so the things that i need are my savings my emergency my car maintenance like all of these these are all sinking funds that i like need so these are my high priority sinking funds and i suggest everybody start with high priority sinking funds to um to get those up and then see in the future what you need another sinking fund for and you can put that in a low priority sinking funds um type of type of ordeal and there are other youtubers who do that so yeah um these are my high priority and and the next year i'm going to be adding some low priority sinking funds as well as doing saving challenges i think you guys would really enjoy that and i would love for you guys to um come along with me on these saving challenges as well i don't think i would do anything too extreme um i think i would keep it simple at first just to make sure i complete it but yeah that's it for me very short video straight to the point I uh, thank you guys for joining me on this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great week. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I like to talk to you guys. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.